Yes, yes, crew. We have just got the bikes out from the yard to go and play on a midweek play day at a new venue. Let's check this out. minutes out from our midweek play day and we are going to a place called Lincoln uh, Woods uh, up near Richmond a 20 pound play and play day I'm here with the main man Aiden just scoffing his face getting full getting ready to rock and roll let's check this out so apparently Lincoln uh, Woods is 15 acres of woodland uh, so we uh, literally got to find a house uh, just over the motorway. It's literally just off of the A1, as you can see. Weather's looking good. It's a little bit cloudy. It's been spitting a little bit. We aren't scared though, are we? No, we're not. We're all right. We're not so it's right near Richmond Doing and Catrick. Yeah? Uh, we're turning left, yeah. So I think this is it. That woodland there, apparently we just need to find the house. Uh, there's a few vans there to right, yeah. So let's, let's jump in there. There we go, it's the entrance to Lincoln Woods. And we've got to go over the road to see the family to uh, to get it paid for. Yeah, man. So we've had to leave the place to go to Lincoln Cottage, where we've just paid a lovely lady um, 20 pound each. And now we can go back there and crack on. So we've got Aiden, we are all ready, rocking and rolling. Yeah. It's a little bit windy, a little bit windy. But this is his brand spanking new KTM 300. Yes. Yeah, man. So it's never even touched the mud before until today. So let's see how he gets on. And I'm on the Sherco 300 SEF four stroke. Been on it a couple of, couple of times this week already, trying to get ready for the extreme Enduro at Parkwood Outdoors on Sunday, where Billy Ball is racing, and I'm gonna have a go at trying my best to stay on. All right, let's see what it's all about. A couple of lads here, I've already come off once, I think. How you doing, lads? You all right? I'm good, thank you. Have you been here before? First time? Yeah, yeah. Have you come with like the group? Yeah, with your brother and there's four of us in total. Have any of you been here before? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, yeah, a couple of them have. How you doing, bro? You alright? Yeah, you? He just told me you had a big off then as you were coming down. Who, hey, me? Yeah, he was, uh, was a bit slippy. Want a big one. We've never been here before, so I we literally, uh, yesterday, uh, I seen on Facebook that like, a group had booked on and he oh, says it's yeah. open yeah. if anyone well, wants to book on. Right, yeah, yeah. Them two have been, Yeah, well, that's where I normally go, because obviously the, the, it's not on today because of uh, uh, Extreme Enduro on Sunday. Are you doing it? No, we're racing uh, British Cross Country. Late and all. Who's that with? Oh, with Edge. Yeah. Uh, my name's Robbie. I'm Nico. Nico. Nico and Max doing their thing. Uh, what's this place called? Limp. Uh, 
Lime kiln. Lime kiln. Lime kiln. I can't pronounce it properly, but. We got warm up, yeah? There's a few things that might catch you out If you're not ready for it Let's have a look about It's a little bit of a wet day so there's a few slippy tree roots to watch out for Apparently there's a couple of hills here Cut some of the lads have uh, got to check them out, so we'll have a little nosy at them. Oh, hell. In the rear, having a go. Aiden's just behind me on his new bike. He's not even touch mud. It's not even started until today. The last thing he wants to do is drop it, but I've told him. If you don't drop it, wherever we are, it's not good enough. These lads are practicing for a bit of cross country. A bit of cross country road, we're practicing for edge. Cross country roads race this weekend. Hey up, you're getting his feet wet already. This here looks like a little bit of a spot for a few decent hill climbs. Yeah man, it's almost like a little uh, canyon in the middle. Go up either side. Whatever you dare go up. <laughs> or down maybe in my case. That looks a gnarly motherfucker. Shit. What are you saying? You want to warm up first before you tackle that one? <laughs> huh? I think I'll uh, supervise you going up there. <laughs> You'll drag, get, get a rope to help me drag, yeah. <laughs> drag it up. That's a beast, that, isn't it? I don't think we'll get that one. So last time I was in the mud, I was in an absolute world of trouble. And I've been watching a few online videos since then. Uh, Chris, Chris Birch, I bought his uh, tutor tutorial training lessons. And I've recently also bought the Enduro School, uh, which is pretty good, cost me 150 euros. Both of them really, really helpful. You know, bits that you, feel, you find a little bit tricky and you want to learn back on, you just keep watching them. I'll put a couple of links below so you can check them out and if it helps your riding like it has mine and hopefully you're not falling off as much and not damaging your bike as much that's what we're after let's learn and let's get better some more nice little hills here oh some big ones there bloody hell check this out lovely old that okay now Beasts! No grip, no. You've got to spin your wheel up. Get all the shit off. So when you get a bit of space, just give it some and let it wheel spin up. 
So sometimes, when you've got your GoPro off, you miss a good crash. <laughs> and I have missed a good one. Not even a big girl, but because it's so slippy. Off, big time. So I'm just trying out his new Enduro Boost supplement, which is basically just a powder. Put it in two litres of water, drink it as you crack on, and it keeps you ticking over and wanting more, hopefully. We'll see how we get on. Yeah. Are you filming this or timing it? Nice bit of control, that. Beautiful. Right, so we've found the rest of the lads. A couple of them have been watching some of my vlogs. Oh, I've got a big fucking chunk of mud in my face. I'm following these. I've got a gob full of mud. Tastes of uh, North Yorkshire. <laughs> This lad's for a uh, marshal at Calm Quarry. How are you doing? He says he hates it here. It's too slippery. But he still loves it. <laughs> oh, you know. I don't think I'll even attempt to try that bad boy. Not just yet, anyway. I'll leave that to them. <laughs> Whoop, that. Let's try the downhill bit. Not that bit there where that big fucking root is. Nearly at the tree. Ah, these boys are here. These boys are a little bit less experienced than them ones, but still ride lovely. This lad here has been out twice, he says. Just bought his bike. He's been out twice. Over there. Beast! What's your name, bro? Mikey. Mikey, uh, dangerous Mikey, just blast it up that. You gonna have another go? Don't flip it just for camera, just ride it just like you did that one. Lovely. Check this guy out. Trying to get out of here, that sun. That is some steep shit. Yeah, man, no messing around. And if you fall off, you've got big boulders like that to contend with. Yes, yes. Got a new addition to the Yes, Yes crew. There you go. So if you see me darted around on one of your uh, ride outs, come over, say hello, you know who I am. Yes, yes. You did really well, you, bro. That's what I'm saying. You can ride that off a second go like that. 
I normally tell people they've been watching too much TV and too much Billy Ball shit, but you're actually doing it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, man. Well done. Right, so I'm not told this lad that I'm gonna filming from the top of this big hill just to try and show some of you how high it actually is and it ain't as easy as you think look how high that is there yeah you'll hurt yourself if you don't make that so this lad's gonna have another crack at this i've told him i'm gonna film him from the top there's some trees right there, this is not easy. Whenever he's ready, he's coming. Yeah man, well, that's not easy that bro, and you've got trees like that to contend with. I hit it last time, about two years ago, and smashed back. Just hit the me. tree? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And you've been here before though, haven't you? Yeah, a couple of times, yeah. So he's been here a couple of times before and he knows what's, what to do, but fuck me. Yeah. You can't really see on, on, on the camera. It might look not that daunting, but that shit is absolutely unreal. Yes, yes. So this lad says he's never even looked at it from top and now he's got off his bike to have a little look. But like he says, what the things he missed? Right, he hit that tree last uh, uh, in snow last year. What last year that? Uh, two years ago, he hit that tree there. And it's, that's right near the top, and literally he sent him back down. And he smashed him to, to bits out of a 2019 model uh, KTM, was it? Yeah. Uski. Uski. Uski But look at the roots there. The roots from that tree. You hit them as you're coming up here, man. You don't. You don't see them though. You don't see them. If, if you look at them, you fucking hit them. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to look forward, don't you? Look forward, look at the top of the hill. And right next to that, there's a big fucking drop. That's where I went down. Fuck what? I hit that fucker. I hit that there. And I went straight back down there. And I ended up fucking at the bottom here somewhere. Smack yourself to bits a fucking bike. So it is dangerous, but it's like he said to me earlier, you've got to be committed. So you've got to have your balls at the bottom of the hill. And don't find them halfway up because you're just going to fucking bin it. So Aidan's quite a good rider. He's been riding for, for, for since he were a little kid with his dad and his brother. Um, would you tackle all like this, Aidan? No. Not on his brand new bike. <laughs> <laughs> but even in general, even if you're on a bike that you didn't care about, but that's some ruthless stuff, that down there. Absolutely brutal. Um, and like the guy said, he's never even uh, got off of his bike to actually look down it, ever. Yeah, man. This bit here, once your tyres are full of mud, it's really hard to get in. You've got to spin it up, get rid of the shit on your tyres. Ooh! Ooh! 
couple of little rocks for people to play around on. If they dare. Not for me, that bad boy, not for you. I'm saying, Aiden, we're good. It's hard work when you haven't got the bike timing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm aching, my arms are aching. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got whales, haven't you? So we've had an absolute epic day at a lime kiln uh, up in uh, near Richmond, up at North Yorkshire. Now, a little bit of time left. Wash the bikes. Get back to the yard. Yes, yes. If you've had a good you good time watching us, please comment below. Please let us know where you will go around on your midweek play days or even on a weekend. Uh, and if you like it, please subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Yes, yes.